What's happening, movie lovers? So today we're just gonna be talking about what type of streams you can choose in Kodi and what quality of streams, um, how to choose those streams, how to know what those mean and everything like that. So to get this started, we're just gonna go to a popular TV add-on. If you wanna know how to get your Kodi to look like this, just look on clawtv.com or look on our channel. For this video, I'm gonna use Exodus, so I'll just go ahead and use my Fire TV remote here. And go ahead and hit the center button on Exodus to select that. And then you can see we have this menu here. We have movies, TV shows, all that stuff. So now I'll just go ahead and select movies. And then we have these menus here. I'll just go ahead and select most popular. That's my favorite list in Exodus to use. So now at this point, let's just go to pretty much any movie. Let's go to The Revenant right there. And then at that point, it's going to get all the sources for The Revenant. And then it said working down there in the corner. And now it gives us the actual source list for The Revenant. So these are all the sources from which we can stream this movie. So you can see at the top, at least for Exodus, it sorts the streams by quality from highest to lowest. So you can see at the top there is 1080p. That's gonna be good for the HD streaming, although the likelihood that that server is actually able to put that stream out to many people without a lot of buffering, I would say is not very good. So anyway, I actually prefer to choose HD streams or SD streams at certain times. So depending on your network conditions, if you have a really slow internet connection, you might wanna choose SD or even a low quality stream if they have those on here. But depending on different things like how fast your internet connection is and what type of device you're using, the Fire Stick does not have a whole lot of power at processing videos, so I don't really try the 1080p streams anyway. Um, on the Fire Stick, I just try the HD streams. I figured that probably maxes it out anyway as far as it, its power goes and all that stuff. But once again, you have 1080p, so that's obviously going to be the true HD where you get 1080p actual resolution. And then HD is most likely around 720p, so that's kind of half HD, um, as close to HD as you can get without being actual HD. So this is good for kind of medium, medium quality here, medium to high quality would be this HD designation. And then below that, SD, that's standard definition, so that's gonna be pretty good quality, not great, not horrible. And you can see that on the left-hand side here, it says like Toon Movie, G Video, SD, and then the time. So the Toon Movie and G Video, those are just examples of, of what organization is actually streaming that or, or what actual person is streaming that. So anyway, just go ahead and experiment with the stream types. Go ahead and select one, see if that loads up. If not, then just try a different source. And that's all there is to it. So that's the price that we pay for this whole system to work as it does. So it says working, and there we go. So that one worked, so that's good. If you need any kind of tips, any kind of tutorials on anything related to this subject, Cody, Fire TV, any of that stuff, check out clawtv.com and enjoy your movies.